Hello, we've just bought a new Zotac GDX 1660 with this kind of a power connector. It's just a single one with eight pins. But unfortunately, I have just one six pin connector and I tried to connect it just I used to do with the other, the previous card with similar layout. When I tried to turn it on, I've seen this one. Seems familiar. I've also noticed that even if the plug is removed, so the card is powered just by the main board and not by the single uh, connector with the power supply. And when I try to turn it on, I've got the same message, which hasn't happened before. So, the, in my previous experience, when you remove the power connector of the video card, the computer just gives an error that uh, you cannot start up and the video card is not recognized or just no video card message and you don't get this one. At least now there is some improvement and uh, you can actually see that you don't have power. But how to solve this one? What's the simple answer of this problem is just buy a proper connector with 8 pins instead of 6. Or even better if you have the power supply with 8 pin connector, they should work. But there are a lot of connectors on the market which you can find. Some which has 4 yellow and 4 black wires to the connector it will not start working. For example, this one won't work, 4 yellow wires. And this one won't work as well. So what you have to look when buying is with three yellow wires, which are 312 volts. And uh, the last two pins should be black. Prior to do any experiments, I just decided to check the resistivity between the pins just to not damage something. I know that this for sure is GND. So this thing, it's 10 kilos, which is cents. So it's, it's just a sense pin. This one is zero ohms, which means ground as well, zero volt. And this thing is zero volt as well. So these three are zero volts or ground. This is 12 volts, I've seen by the layout. This is 12 volts as well. This is 12 volt as well. And this gives something like 10K between 12 volt and between the GND, zero volts, which means that this is also a sense, which makes sense because this is by design, of course. But I just done this before testing, just to not damage anything. For a test, I just gonna use that connector, which I can cut because I don't have other else in place. And it should go exactly into this hole. Yeah. That pin and that pin. I've cut this into two pieces like this by using this knife. So it should fit here. Yep. So now, let's plug this in and let's put this small connector which I've cut from the other power connector of the CPU connector. The wires are swapped so the yellow will be black and the black is yellow but this doesn't matter. Just put it in here and now we have the sense pin here and here is a zero volt pin. Let's measure this pin. So this is the sense pin. It gives three volts. So if you buy from these connectors, which are connected to 12 volts, this means that you will have 12 volts to the sense pin. And when you turn the computer on, 
you're gonna get the same message. So if you buy these connectors with the four yellow wires and the four black wires, you will fail to start the computer. As I know that this is zero volts and this is the sense pin. It's the easier thing is just to connect them together and test. So this means that I just grounded the sense pin. And now let's check. Yep, start it up. No error messages. My temporary forever solution will be that. Just show between these. But I wouldn't recommend that for all, all the people. Do I have some benefits if I use a proper converter from 6 to 8 pins instead of that bridge? I don't think so, because I will have another interconnection which is more impedance and also another wire between the connector and the cart. So basically I'm adding more resistance. The only luck is that now I don't use this ground pin because this is actually sense this one. And this was the real ground here. So, all I can do is just to strip this one and just bond all these together. So I will use all the grounds and all the three 12 volts wires. So for that moment I will leave, like, I will leave it like that. And this card is uh, relatively green, so it doesn't consume too much power, so I will leave it as it is. I've decided to not be lazy and just do it. In case you're using this type of, of uh, converter from uh, 6 or 8 pins to 2 Molex, I would recommend to use two separate branches from the power supply unit and use the more, the more closer connector to the power supply, so the first one possible. So this can be here and this is the more closer here which is SATA. But next one is Molex, so I'm going to use this one. This is for just one reason. That you're using more cables in parallel. So, for example, if you're using just this one on the same branch, it's pointless because the power goes from just one wire from the power supply unit to the video card. So, if you put these together, you have just one wire supplying. And now you have one wire. One yellow from this branch and one yellow from another branch. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.